I think we can all agree that being a fan of the Promised Neverland season two nowadays is just extremely difficult. We're just in a strange and weird place right now in the anime. And I, it's so hard for me to put into words how exactly this season makes me feel. But if there's one word I had to think of to describe it, it'd be pain. Pain is all I feel now whenever I hear people talk about the Promised Neverland season two or whenever a new episode airs. Pain is all I feel. And it's because I just love this anime so much. And just to see where it is currently after the godlike season one, the Grace Fieldhouse arc, some of the greatest shit I've ever seen. Dude, the tension, the mystery, everything was just perfect, man. And you guys know that I love the Promised Neverland. I talked about in my winter 2021 anime video. You guys know I was praising the hell out of the Promised Neverland season two. I was just thinking like, yo, we finally get to see Emma, Ray again, the kids. We get to see like finally like more of the world and stuff like that. Like I was so excited to see the route that the Promised Neverland season two was going to take because I knew that, you know, it, it was it wasn't going to be exactly like season one, but I felt like, you know, Promised Neverland still has that potential to be great and just season two right now it's just not it now let me make things clear real quick before i delve more into you know why exactly i have my faults and problems with season two right now um if you like the promised neverland season two right now and you're enjoying it you're loving it bro good for you like i i don't want to take that away from you I, like i'm not here to crucify you or judge you for what you like bro if you like you know the promised neverland season two good for you dude because yo i liked tokyo ghoul tokyo ghoul root a for the most part, even Tokyo Ghoul Re, shit, dude. I, trust me, I've had my experience with rushed anime, people calling it rushed, people calling it a bad adaptation. Yo, I've watched anime and still had some enjoyable, you know, moments from it. Like, there's nothing wrong with liking an anime and just because other people say, like, it's not good, for, like, you're not allowed to enjoy it. If you like it, you like it, that's all. But the thing is, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really lenient and, like, I have a lot of patience and i give a lot of leeway to, to when stuff like this arises like i said with tokyo ghoul i stuck with tokyo ghoul for so long i absolutely loved the first season i know that might be an unpopular opinion but i actually liked the first season of tokyo ghoul tokyo ghoul route a it got a little rocky not gonna lie kind of didn't know what the hell was going on sometimes tokyo ghoul re it kind of <laughs> went way left field more mysteries more shit i didn't understand because they skipped certain parts of the manga they were rushing they were rushing stuff and then yeah three part two kind of just came around and i i don't know my brain was kind of just fried at that point so i've had experience with stuff like this so when promise neverland season two was airing first episode and stuff like that when i watched it i'm like okay i did notice that it did feel a little fast like, you know, the pacing, you know, it was here and there, but I'm like, okay, you know, I watched God of High School. I still enjoy it. You know, like I, I, can, I can deal with a little bit of pacing issues here and there. It, it kept going on. And then we get to episode five. And this is when I started to realize that The Promised Neverland season two was just not it, bro. This shit was down bad, down horrendous right now. Because um, in episode five, Norman comes back, one of the most beloved characters that I loved a lot, dude. And, you know, a lot of manga readers were saying like, yo, this return was supposed to be so epic because I guess in the manga, it took a, a, a longer time for him to come back and get reintroduced. But in the anime, it was only a couple episodes. So when he came back, I didn't really feel anything. I was just like, oh shit, hey, it's Norman. You know, it was just like, like, bro, like Norman was supposed to be, you know, like, you know, like we assumed like, oh, he might have gotten eaten. You know, he might have been dead. You know, where is he? You know, what exactly happened to him? So like a big reveal like this was supposed to be kind of, you know, like a big deal, obviously. But they kind of just shoved him in there and it was just like, really, dude? And then like before this, there was like, like I think like there was like a time skip or something like that. And I'm just like, yo, uh at that point i was like dude i i have to talk about this with you guys right now because it, it's just so hard right now it's so hard for me to enjoy this anime i'm not gonna lie also going back to like the pacing issues and whatnot i am well aware that the anime took a turn it went um totally anime original i believe uh, at episode four or after episode four it went totally anime original so it's straight off the path of the manga i'm well aware of that i'm also well aware that the author like the actual creator of the promised neverland they 
you know they they oversaw this like you know like they confirmed this they um they're basically approving this you know like they, they're saying like yeah this is okay you know i'm trying to do this right now now when i first heard about this I was thinking i'm like okay maybe they're trying to fix something they're trying to fix up some loose ends because i know a lot of people did say that the promised neverland ending is kind of iffy like i know a lot of people weren't big fans of it at all and they even said that you know after grace field house arc the anime kind of i mean not the anime sorry the manga does kind of you know take a dip in quality but there is one arc that they said was kind of like one of the standouts and that was the goldie pawn arc and they just decided to skip that entirely they said we actually already skipped that i believe so i don't know what the hell was supposed to go on in that but uh, it was it was supposed to be fire it was supposed to be some it's some of pe the people's you know favorite arc and i'll never get to see it i have to read the manga i guess if i'm to see it because the promised neverland season two right now i i, I believe it's 11 episodes and we're on episode six i think because we had a recap before this and i'm thinking i'm like why do we need a recap for five episodes it's it's like blowing my mind like I, I, it's it's so hard for me to comprehend exactly what is happening and I, I think i know that they have they had a recap because of like production issues and that's totally understandable i mean you know production issues they happen all the time you know i'm not gonna like crucify the the, the animators and shit for this but like you, you know it's just like i can't it, it baffles me like, what is the end game here, basically, is what I'm trying to say. What exactly is this going to lead up to? Like, people are saying, like, dude, like, we are going to the ending of The Promised Neverland, like, extremely fast. And the way I'm perceiving the season two right now, I'm like, how is this going to end? Like, what the fuck are, are we going to do, you know? <laughs> it's just really hard for me to talk about this. Because, like, I don't know what the fuck's going on sometimes. You know, I feel like the manga readers and the anime watchers, like we're, we're both like together in this. Like, dude, we don't know where the, where the hell this is going to go. I'm just a little bit speechless because I can't say this enough about how much I love season one of The Promised Neverland. Definitely one of my standout animes of the year that it came out, dude. I just can't praise the Grace Fieldhouse arc enough for what it did, you know, and it set the tone for the story about how it was going to continue. And I just feel like season two right now, the anime it's just not doing this story justice whatsoever man like it's just bad like i'm sorry to say this man i don't usually lay the bad like like an anime this is terrible but jesus it's just it's disappointing if anything like i want to make things clear too no disrespect to the creator the animators the people you know working on the production of this anime because like i said they are there are production issues you know, obviously COVID is still a thing and you know the like I said the the creator uh themselves they approved of these changes like these like like straying away from the manga so in my mind I'm thinking I'm like okay they must have like some some game plan here they must know a little bit what they're doing you know I I, I still like I'm not gonna just say like they don't know what they're doing because I'm not I'm, I'm I didn't create the manga I'm not a mangaka myself so like hey like who am I to talk I'm just a, a consumer giving my opinion on what I'm being presented you know like everyone else watching right now you know like we're all just consumers but like it just feels like all the promised neverland fans as a collective i feel like we all agree that season two is just not hitting as hard as it you know as we thought it would be you know because season one set the bar so high up dude and it just feel like season two is going down like it's it's going away from the bar you know so man guys i just i don't know what to say i just had to come on here ran a little bit because it's just I'm sad, bro. I can't lie. I'm sad as hell. Like, I know I said I was going to react to The Promised Neverland Season 2. I can't even I, I can't even find the willpower to watch it on my own time right now anymore, dude. It's just, I, I, I guess I, I am still going to continue it. Maybe, hopefully, it gets somehow better in this next half. Because like I said, there's only 11 episodes in this Season 2. So, I don't really know what they can do to pull this together right now. To somehow make this very cohesive and make sure that you know this ends properly with a good ending and development but i guess we'll see you guys but yeah everybody make sure to leave in the comments down below how you guys feel about the promised neverland season 2 anime so far if you like it if you dislike it i would really like to hear you guys' opinions on it because right now like i said we're just in a really weird and strange spot right now it's just it's just kind of unfortunate you know and guys you know if you see people that like the anime and they're you know voicing their opinion on it please do not attack them please just be civil man just be civil 
and that's all i ask bro and also guys if you guys can subscribe it'll really mean a lot to me we're really close to hitting that 100,000 subscribers together and also make sure to leave a like button before you guys head out it really helps the boy out a lot but nonetheless guys it's been your boy ivory and i'm out peace <laughs>